what's up everybody welcome to another episode of the knowledge bomb boom what's up episode 487 we're going live on instagram too check that out kyle give him a flash heads up what up all right we're doing feet up bench now over my career i've talked about the feet up bench kind of often there's two cases of really really great feet up benchers that i've ran into number one in my own household my stepdad randy thompson would come home from working in the coal mine for 14 16 hours and still bench 300 pounds in the basement with his feet up and when i was younger and even when i got older because that's still pretty fucking amazing it's impressive as crap then my first job shout out don labenthal he got it for me at a tennis and fitness center ironically enough i don't know shit about tennis but anyway this guy used to come in and used to play for the Bengals. i can't remember his name for the life of me but i would watch the guy with his feet up go 21 35 15, 225, 10, 315, and one or two with 405. All with his feet up. Every, like once a week, his same workout, never changed. And I always wonder like, but the stability was crazy. Now, when you go with your feet up, it changes the angle on how you load your scaps. It also, Treadway knows about this. <laughs> it changes the angle. And usually I like to do with a little bit more of a narrower grip, but it's a, you know, we, we train the conjugate method. so. It's a really good test to how much leg drive do you utilize? What's your positioning for your upper back in just like your kind of relationship with your bench because it changes a lot of the angles. So we want to go Arnold style, feet up, cross like this. Probably medium grip I would say is probably the best case scenario. And you want to fight for an arch, but you obviously can't over arch because of the way you're positioned. Once you get the bar set up, you're gonna hit in a similar place, but like if I'm legs down, my position is gonna be here. When I'm legs up, my position is still similar, but the reality is I can't load the same way. Right, Treadway? Right. So, you're gonna have to really get your upper back tight, really squeeze your traps, and then load the bar into your actual back. So, you can't really cheat the process. You like that? Can't really cheat the process whenever you're benching like that. Then. On top of it, forgot about this, once you load it up here and it shoots out of the bottom, you can't like flare back over your face because you get handcuffed. There's no pop here, you got no support. So once it shoots out of the bottom, you gotta keep it in that line so then you can even get your back and your triceps to engage at the top. So this really is just a unique way to teach you how to strain on bench have you reevaluate your positioning. And back in the day when I was a little bit bigger and a little younger, I made 330 this way. And then when I put my feet down, I can make you know, 360, 370 pretty easy. So it's like your position, it's similar to getting really good at incline, then coming to flat bench. The positioning and the luxury of your feet down then is, is a plus once you go back to that. So, Knowledge Bomb episode 487, 